Well, howdy everyone, Carrier Average Sim Racer here. I'm back in the ZB Commodore V8 Supercar, and this week we are at Winton, the new track for iRacing. Awesome to see a, another Aussie track out on the server. Came in the last update, and we've got the next update to look forward to, because that's bringing sand down, which is even cooler again. So we'll be able to do the sand down 500. I'm sure you'll see a lot of those uh, hosted races when it comes on. Alright, so, um, Winter, it's a tricky little track. I don't know if you can see my display well, but I've got the the front bar set to 7 and the rear set to 10. So you really sort of got the, the rear of the car quite stiff to try and get it to sort of flick around for you, just to help turning in a couple of these sort of places. And, um, it is a tricky windy track. Oh, okay, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be difficult to pass, I think. You're going to be re relying on pressuring people and and taking advantage of their mistakes, I would say. Alright, so we've got a nice little gap here. Just in a, one of the official practice servers. I think I'm using a setup that was um, that we got off Brody Kostecki when the track first came out. I have given the VRS one a try, um, but I seem to keep... I'll, I'll come back to this setup. I haven't really driven it since the the track came out on iRacing. Alright, anyway, here we go. Let's start a race. Start a lap, sorry. Oh, we caught that. Alright, so there's a line across the road up here, or the uh, road on the right. You want to break just before that. Back to third. You can use a bit of the curving there. I think you can probably run over the green. Here, you want to try and put your tyres maybe in between those two lots of uh, curb bumps there but you don't want to hit the outside ones if you can avoid it oh, we... there we go you cut that corner a little bit there all right and this is almost like a double apex I think we could have gone a bit faster through there but I'm right, back to second for this corner this is deceptive because you really it's a, it's a tight radius at the end that's right, you want to stay back in second through here because you don't want to run wide. And then we go back to first for this corner. And again, let's try and short shift on the second, get a run out and try and get as much gas going as you can. All right, we're going to break just before the 100 metre board on the left there. Back to second. If you stay, get a turn tight, tight turn, you can actually use a fair bit of that exit there, as I just showed. All right, and we're breaking it about halfway in between these two boards here. Back to second. Alright, I reckon I might just soften my front bars by one, see if I can get it to turn in a little bit better. Alright, so there's a lap, we'll try another one, see how we go. I'll just try and cut this a little bit more. So you can cut it, but it does bounce the car around a little bit. Alright, break it just before the marshal stand there, back to second. And then you can get on the gas quite early out of there. Oh, caught it. <laughs> there we go. Up in a fourth. Watch more. You don't want to run wide there. I'm breaking probably just as the curving end. Oh, look at that. That's probably going to be the big danger around here. You're going to sort of push and just put the car a little bit too wide. And, uh,. You can see a lot of quite sort of tight sections and I think you're really going to be relying on pressuring the car in front and uh, you know forcing them into a mistake rather than there being any really major clean moves it's going to be quite tight I think all right what we might try and do is see if we can try one more lap I'm about uh, one and a half seconds off the pace I think I think if I remember correctly, because I think he was doing 18s or something like that, which is just stupid. Oh, looks like we're not going to do a hot lap, so what we'll do is we'll go around once more when we'll show you the pit entry. And um, keep the video fairly short. Alright, so let's see if we can run across there again. Yes, it's really bouncy. But if you get that in between those two, lots of ripple strips there, I think... You know, the car's good. Alright. 
Okay, we tried to short shift and just go a bit quicker there. Just like one count, we've got the track. Let's try and let me push it a little bit in this one. Okay. And then brake just as the curving ends back to second. Staying tight. There's a fair bit of trail braking you need to use it in this track. There's a lot of light touches. That probably means that I'm overusing it. I don't profess to make these videos perfect, so that's not my best effort this tonight, but it should hopefully give you guys an idea of what you need to do. Back to first here, it's a pretty tight corner. And then I'll accelerate a bit and then uh, slow down, accelerate again. So there it is, it's a fairly easy entry into the pit lane. I don't think it's going to prove too Five, much problem there, though it is pretty tight, three, so... Two, one, right, right here we go. Oh, shoot, overshoot my pit bay. Anyway, guys, uh, it's Cowie signing off. I uh, will hopefully see a few of you out there, because it's an Aussie track. I'm hoping we'll get some good numbers out for the officials. And uh, shout out to all the SRW boys. We'll see you at VIR, uh, I said, on Sunday. And I'm um, hopefully I can get a good result there. But otherwise, everyone else... Cowie Average Sim Racer signing off. Have a great night and we'll see you next time.